Hello guys, welcome back into another video here on the Banjo Attic page. Thank you all for joining in. Uh, I'm, first of all, I gotta apologize. It's been a, a while since I've posted a video and I know this. I've been busy at work. We've had worked a lot of hours. Uh, I've been working a lot of hours since December and I really apologize. I plan on getting back on board here in the next week or two of posting a video every week. Apologize I haven't done that, but we're gonna get back on track here pretty soon. Guys, but today what I wanna talk about is picks. Man, I've been playing with this blue chip pick for about a month and a half, two months now. Well, since you all know in the video, I said something about me getting them in. And I wanna go over today what picks you should use playing your banjo or what I feel like is the best picks. More or less a pick review, I guess you could say. And on the banjo, it's uh, when you first start out, of course, I started out with the standard old Dunlop plastic thumb pick, I guess you could say. I mean, it fits fine. Uh, the plastic thumb picks I thought were fine. They done great. I took my plastic thumb picks and I put them into boiling water and formed them to my finger and done all that stuff. Well, first and foremost, doing that, you burn your finger. Uh, they never fit right. They never, they're either too tight uh, to where it's uncomfortable to play after about 20 minutes or they're too loose to where they get, start getting really loose once you start playing with them a little bit. If you get a little sweat on your thumb, under your thumb pick, they start loosening up on you a little bit. And so that's why I've never been a big fan of plastic thumb picks. So I switched and then I switched to a metal thumb pick. Now the plastic thumb pick, as far as the sound is excellent, if you can get it to sound your finger right. So then I switched to a metal thumb pick, a Dunlop metal thumb pick, which you can see here, it's just a, a metal thumb pick and it, I don't know, it's just a metal thumb pick, which is great. I love the metal thumb pick because I could adjust it to my thumb right, to where it felt right and everything was good. The only problem I had with the metal thumb pick was they made the strings buzz whenever you played hard. They always had that little, little bit of a, a little bit of twerk to it, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of a little bit of something to it that I never really was real happy with, and I never really could figure out why it was. But I think it was the it was the and you can just hear it a little bit when it when it, when it strikes. It, it, there's a little bit of a little bit of string buzz there. I never did like, it. but I played it for years. I was like, you know what? Eh, this is what it is. Switched back and forth between metal and th metal and plastic thumb picks. Never really thought about it. Well then, I was watching a video on YouTube one day and I seen a guy who had a blue chip thumb pick. Let me just tell you guys, blue chip does not sponsor me. I have no way affiliated with blue chip thumb pick. I am not making any money off of this. In my opinion, these are the best thumb picks on the market. Now you're gonna pay for them when you do because they are expensive. They're $45, $47, something like that a piece. If you get one of them, you're done. I've played with this one for a month now and you get the sound and the non string buzz like you do with the plastic pick, but you also get the tightness and the security of the metal thumb pick. Like you can make it as tight as you want to on your finger or as loose as you want to. You can get the, you can get the feeling that you want. Now the way they make it, it's got an offset on the thumb pick, which kind of the, the ring around the top of your thumb kind of sits forward on it. And then the thumb pick kind of goes back. When I wear my thumb pick, I like my thumb pick to sit back somewhere around my knuckle, either right in front of my knuckle or dead under my knuckle. And these get really close. It's just right in front of my knuckle, as you can see on the thumb pick. The thumb pick sits down compared to where the wrap around the finger is. The finger goes around the top. The way they form these, and I don't know who uh, done all this, but the way they formed them, man, is absolutely excellent. It fits perfectly on your thumb. And I've got decently bigger thumbs, so I ordered a, a larger size. That's the only thing is if you order the wrong size, then you're out 45 bucks. And I absolutely love these thumb picks, man. These things are absolutely beautiful. Uh, I will probably never, unless somebody comes out with something great, I will never have another thumb pick besides these. I highly, highly recommend getting these thumb picks and forgetting about any of the thumb picks in my opinion now i've always uh, i say i've always used i have gone through several finger picks on the banjo as well i've used anywhere from the plastic planet uh what they call it? planet something uh planet waves i've gone through these which these these were fine i i had no really problem with these uh, the only problem that I've had with finger picks for me, and this is not a problem for everybody, and I ain't saying you'll have this problem, but I did. With these spoon finger picks, these things right here, I always hit the strings 
weird with my finger for some reason. And I don't know why that is. When I, when I do with these, hear that buzz? Uh, I always hit these, I always hit the string weird, and I don't know why it is. And I, I've adjusted my hand around on my banjo and everything else. Here a couple of years ago, or even longer than that, a long time ago, I found the Ernie Ball uh, Piggy Picks, which is these right here. Ernie Ball Piggy Picks. These things right here, I absolutely love these things. They They come to a point, instead of being a spoon, they come to a point right there, and they keep me from hitting the strings wrong, I guess you could say. It kind of takes a little bit more out of the having to be square with your fingers on the strings. Out of Everybody don't like these, I know. I do. I love these. I've used these because all I want... <laughs> oh, I had to reach you this. I had to... <laughs> I'll put the thumb picks on backwards. These finger picks, I like them to, uh, uh, all I want them to do is hit right on the tip of that of that point right there. That's all I really want the, the picks to do. I don't really want a big spoon. Uh, these feel really good on my fingers and I like them, they're thin. And it's just, all I want is just that tip. I've always loved, I've always loved the, the short picks. Anyways, guys, thank you all for watching, and I greatly appreciate everybody who subscribed to the channel. Uh, I'm going to get back to a weekly video schedule here within, I don't know, another couple of weeks. We've been really busy at the at uh, work, and I haven't had the time to put a decent banjo video together. But, guys, with that being said, thank you all for watching, and we will see you in the next video.